Fill it out. Fill it all out. Fill it out with fill out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're thinking, what kind of form app is valuable to my productivity? This one. This is the one. Stop using Google Forms. Stop scheduling Calendly links. Stop sending Calendly links because fill out is the app for you. This product is awesome. It's almost like if Typeform and Calendly had a baby. It has a myriad of different integrations and it can do so much for free. On the free forever plan, you get unlimited forms and questions, unlimited pages and branching, conditional logics, unlimited seats, form embedding, scheduling forms, unlimited file uploads, all this stuff right here. A thousand responses per month is more than you need. So, I mean, this, this product is awesome. If you press get started here, you can see that you get prompted at the very beginning to start with either a blank form or a template, or you can connect with popular integrations. Like for me, I know Notion will be big for me to integrate. So I'm gonna start off with a potential template here, like a holiday work party RSVP, which is obviously something that a lot of people do end up using in their daily life. So if we use this template, you'll notice that it has a pretty nice feel and setup. You can click on this. It looks a lot like Typeform, as I said. It says, what's your name? Uh, it's Dimitri, duh. Are you able to attend? Yeah. What's your email address? And then I'd put whatever my email address would be. And then how many guests? Oh, I'm bringing all the guests. I'm bringing eight. <laughs> Do you have a dietary restrictions? Uh, yes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Will you need uh, help arriving? No, I don't. I have a car. Anything else you'd like to know? No. Cool. So then it shows you this entire process. It's pretty cool. It even looks great on mobile as well. And when I press exit preview, you'll see that you do have the ability to kind of change the layout however you want in here, go into settings, change the forms. It's a form builder. Like, I don't want to get into this. What I want to get into is the fact that this form builder just created a brand new system for scheduling. So if we click on scheduling here, we can see that there's a get started option. And this has a native Google Calendar integration and easy rescheduling and canceling options. I mean, buffer times, limited booking ranges, minimum notice rules, all these are awesome. So if we sign in, in here, can I get a little insight into my calendar? So the meeting title here can be uh, something like a quick sync with Dimitri. So cool, I know. Hi kid, change the meeting length to anything from 30 minutes anything from 15 minutes to 60 or a custom number like 28. <laughs> I'll just keep it at 30 though. And the meeting location, I would say no one does in person, <laughs> but we can do Google Meets for sure. Since it's a Google Calendar, that's pretty easy. And Quick Sync with Dimitri is the name of my form. And you notice here that we have the ability to add a description, say chat with Dimitri in a quick call. And it adds the description right here. And you have the ability to change the preview uh, when looking at it. However, this is essentially just defaulted based on where I'm from, and that's what they're gonna see when they click on the link as well, so they understand what the time means when they click on it to book. Now for me, I wanna limit the number of bookings so that it's only 30 days into the future. I don't want it too far out, maybe 45, makes sense. I want minimum notice to be 36 hours, so I get a day and a half-ish, so only Friday would be open for me. I want buffer time to be probably about 15 minutes after. I don't really care about before or vice versa. And then for advanced, you'll see that there's some options for like the respondent emails, the names, the Google Calendar event title, which by default will just be quick sync with Dimitri. But I am going to actually change my working hours here. So I'd rather the availability be just Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I can change it to multiple different times. Like I want nine to, to 10.30 and then I want 3.30 to 4.30. Let's do that for both days. And then 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. And press update. And you'll see this updates right here. And now I want it to not go to my general meetings calendar. So I'm gonna press change here. And this is not the calendar that I usually have. It's actually one called meetings. The default one for me is not my meetings calendar. So I know it's different than a lot of people, but it would then add it to my meetings calendar as well. All right, so then if we click off and click back on, You'll see that it works like this. And then if we go to scheduling link, I can click on this and I wanna preview it, see what it looks like. Awesome, it looks really great on mobile and desktop. This is one of the few platforms that shows a mobile and desktop preview for scheduling links, by the way, so shout out. You can change the theme if you want, like a dark theme to make it cool, eco-friendly, charcoal, create with AI. I don't know, all these options are really cool. I'm gonna make a theme based on that picture. That's sick, awesome. Or you can even make it branded and put your 
logo. Now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna press share and I can publish the form, paste it out into the world and say I wanna book a call for uh, the 18th of June at 3.30 p.m. My name would just be for Dimitri. I'm just gonna play a, a dummy test for this. And then if I schedule the event, you'll see that on June 18th, I have a Dimitri, Dimitri, and Dimitri <laughs> sync right here. Um, so if I wanted to change the default name, I could as mentioned earlier, but it's automatically has a Google Meet in there. There's a cancel or reschedule option, which is in one link. I like that because good old Calendly had multiple ones. So I can always rebook it to another time. Like I wanna do it the week before at 3.30. I can put the reason for scheduling as well. I'll see that it immediately moves out of my calendar, right? And then once again, actually, I'm just gonna cancel it. I don't want it anymore. Just a quick note though, you can check out the results right here and it showcases who's there. So if I cancel this and go back to my results and refresh, first of all, you'll see that it's gone off my calendar. You'll see that there are upgraded versions that allow you to see the analytics, summary, in progress forms, and just get more data on it. And I can also embed this form onto a website, have a pop-up option, full screen, slider. There's so many different ways that I can share this with people, including even a sharing with QR code, which actually works really well if you have it on a business card, just pro tip there. So I feel that's pretty great. I mean, Calendly has been a thing that's been used for a while by people. I use Morgan because it's a part of my calendar, but I like the way Fillout looks and feels. If you like the way that this product looks and feels as well, make sure to hit that like button, comment what you think about it below, and check out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.